This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house, and uh, today we're gonna check out something pretty cool. It's um, in Norwegian, we call it moped bil. Uh, moped, I think, is different in Norwegian and English, but it's like a scooter car. It's limited to 45 kilometers per hour, but it's electric and it's a car this time. So, yeah, uh, Moshku should be here any moment. Uh, he is here with uh, <laughs> actually, this is the Model Y rear wheel drive, and uh, he has some stuff he's going to deliver to Ballemar, you know, Elbilmek. There is actually a uh, a leaf interior in here. Is it open? Oh, it's open. There's a freaking leaf interior here. He's going to deliver. <laughs> okay, but okay, there, there he is. There he is. Yes, come on. Come on. There, he's been on a test drive. Yeah. <laughs> so there is the thing. It's called Ligie. Huh? Electric sc what, scooter car or something. And it's silent like a ninja. So there are actually some diesel variants of that thing. Uh, it, it, it looks like a Think. You guys remember Think? But Think is actually a regular driver's license. This one, 16 year old in Norway can drive them. Or 15 year old can drive them in Sweden. So that's the thing. I mean, it, it is actually quite popular even in Norway. Some people just want these cars and they don't want the diesel. So, yeah, let's check it out. Let me see. Maybe we can... Uh, yeah, you see, we have the 45 uh, sign everything here. Yeah, let, we need to check this out. All right, so today we're going to check out Ligie. So, um, yeah, we have Marcus here. He also also interested in this car. But, uh, yeah, we're going to check it out now. So, uh, we have uh, Andreas is the uh, importer yep. of Ligie in Norway. The only one, or...? Yes, the only importer in Norway. That's ah, right. okay. Yeah. So, what is this thing? It could be, yeah, what do you want to show for us? Yes. This is a fully electric moped car. Uh, in Norway, you can drive it from 16. In other European countries, it's even lower uh, age limit on them. Uh, it's uh, brand new, fresh off the assembly line. Uh, the one we have here is called Ligier Miley. That's the name of the electric vehicle. It's um, equipped with a 12 point uh, kilowatt uh, battery with an estimated range of 192 kilometers. Um, this model is called uh, Rebel, and you can see that with the cool plastic styling and uh, oh, look uh, at those red red brake calipers, and red brake calipers, <laughs> and, uh, and everything. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, the car is uh, uh, is uh, is nice. It's got the big 10.2 inch screen with. Uh, uh, Bluetooth uh, um, and everything. Okay, can we fire it up? Of course we can. Is the key inside? No, it, let me get the key. We have, a, me. we have a screen here even. We have some air vents. So the interior looks a little bit sparse, but we have to keep the weight down. This is very important to get under the, the classification of, uh, well, I don't know, maybe scooter car is called. Well, okay, there you go. The, uh, look at this. Ooh. So this is uh, odometer, and then you can switch it over to trip meter, and then estimated range left. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. Uh, so so um, so that's what it looks like. Then there you have the buttons to change gear, and you also have an eco mode for uh, energy uh, efficient driving. Um, no, oh, this is a real rebel. There's a manual handbrake. Yeah, there's a manual <laughs> handbrake, and that's the way you you, you actually park it uh, with the with the brake on. You give uh, the kid the the 16, 15 year old kid this car with a manual handbrake, and they can have some fun. They can have some fun in the winter. That's for that's for that's for sure. Um, and then for opening up uh, the hood, there's a handle here. The trunk, trunk, the trunk. I'm sorry, yeah. the, the trunk. And this is by the way glass. This is glass, just All like right. a, yeah. let's just go. Right. So that's quite, quite cool. Yeah. <coughs> and there's a pretty decent uh, uh, luggage space wow. in, uh, in here. I need to do a banana box test with this. Yes, you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's going to be nice. And then, okay, here's yeah. a charging cable. That's the charging cable, type two, uh, and a normal socket. There's a 2.2 kilowatt onboard charger in, uh, uh, in the car. Can we look so, under the hood? 
Okay. So we can have a look under the hood and then see e what it looks like. Hey, what? Huh? <laughs> and Marcus, do you know do you know this? Uh, we are, uh, how, uh, why is this one still the EL series? I oh. thought I thought we were done with the EL series. Yeah, but you think, look here. It's four digits for the the moped, and you see there we have the five. Oh, 90 F. Yeah, so okay. We have like this. Uh, I think it's uh, really like old school. I think about uh, you know I I like the Fink and uh, the Fink car. So 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 actually once this one hits nine and a nine, then it will be E K or whatever. But in the four digit. Uh, domain maybe think, that's how it works yeah uh, <clears throat> i think they have a lot of this because of the it's not so many of these uh, cars and maybe they also is it this um uh, all the small electric uh, products are using the four digits maybe mm, okay okay mm. but let's let's look at okay how's the name miley miley okay miley Sierra. or my liberty or uh -huh. yeah. and yeah okay let me see well, in the, under the hood and here we have <laughs> you guys are gonna be shocked. As I saw it the first time, I was like, holy macaroni. There is so much sp free space here. Could be because of a uh, crumble zone. Okay, so, um, yeah. Um, <coughs> this is, <coughs> yeah. This is That's the onboard charger, 2.2 mm -hmm. kilowatt. Uh, we have the engine down here. Um, there's actually a belt here. Yeah, there's, that's the way the, the, um, the car is uh, driven with the belt. As you can see, it's quite open down to the road. So there will, uh, Ligier has developed covers that we can uh, put underneath so we don't get all the ice and snow and salt and everything from, uh, from the roads during winter time. So that's going to be a nice feature for the Nordic regions. Um, the reason why it's like this, is it because this, this platform is also the diesel Variant. No, it's actually a brand new 100% uh, electric platform, ah, but, okay. they, but they decided to make it uh, in the normal configuration like with the diesel engines that uh, they, they have the engine compartment up front. And then, of course, the electric engine is, is a lot smaller than a normal diesel or, or a, a petrol engine. So that's why we have a lot of extra space uh, and air in, in, um, in there. And where is the charge port? The charge port, good question. That's It's right here. Uh -huh. Type 2, so you can use your home uh, charging system uh, and of course there's a Type 2 charging cable that follows um, when you when you buy the car. So this is how this is working. Wow, there's even a LED halo thing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite cool. Wow. Yeah. And then, okay, if you can go inside again, uh, maybe you can go on that yeah, side. Yeah, I can go on the other side. You can see here. So we open like this. Well, how is this going? Yeah. There's, okay, like that. Huh. Okay, interesting. Go. It's like uh, Zoe style. You know the French? Yeah. This is uh, made in France. So the French. Wow, look at this. We even have these kind of speakers. Speakers where the center has this thing out, like a uh, flower thing. I haven't seen those in a while. It's a full tone element. Okay. Uh, and then. But do we have, uh, how do you open the, uh, the window? Uh, the buttons are here. Oh, electric yeah, windows. So electric windows. Wow. Okay, so that's good at least. That's, that's quite nice. And then uh, for Norwegian, heater and AC or... Yeah, this car is not equipped with the uh, AC, but you can get that uh, as an extra option. This is a one kilowatt uh, heater. Uh, oh, this one, right? This one. Uh, I'm sorry, that one. Um, yeah, which plenty. will produce uh, sufficient heating uh, for the winter condition. And this is just a regular fan. This here is uh, the button you use. The front windscreen and the rear windscreen has heating. So that's going to be uh, very nice in the, in the fall and in the winter when uh, humidity and uh, ice is a problem. So that's, that's an efficient way to keep the, the front window uh, clear. Yeah, I'll, I'll just try to zoom in. It's hard to see, maybe. Yeah, it's probably. But hard to see. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. I can see those things, mm. yet, but not actually very, not very visible compared to some other cars. Mm. But by the way, so the whole on-off here, you, you guys are going to get it in variable, right? Yes, the, the, at the moment there's on and off uh, the binary. fan regulation binary that will come with a two or three step uh, variation uh, down the road. And you even have Bluetooth, and you have absolutely. So you can connect dub. your uh, your phone. You have a dub radio, which is great in Norway, where we don't 
use the FM frequency, uh, frequencies anymore. So the, the car is actually quite well equipped and um, it, it, it gives a nice ride. And then there's a USB... Is it? Yeah, two USB ports so you can charge your phone and... Um, because for navigation you probably have to use your phone yes, somewhere. Yes, there's no not. navigation in the, in the screen so you have to use Apple CarPlay or Google uh, system to, to get the map on, on your screen. Huh. That's the way to do it. This yeah. car is not equipped with power steering, but that's an, uh, that's an extra option if, uh, if customers would like to have that. The car weighs a little over 400 kilos, so it's not necessary, but of course it's, it's always nice to have um, um, uh, power steering. It gives, gives a good driving feel. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and compact in here. See, now we are sitting two adults. Yeah. There's still some space in the back for luggage. So, yeah, uh, huh. okay, so you know, I have to do a proper uh, review of this car eventually. Well, it's actually a car. Uh, it's, well, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a four wheel moped. That's the, that's the official uh, uh, classification. Well, I think most people would call it a car. It, anyway. is a, it, it is like a small yeah, car. Yeah, that's four wheels, yeah, steering wheel. This is, this is right down my yeah. alley. Uh, I'm not uh, an MC guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, this, this is a car. Yeah. Uh, that, um, and you have a couple of types of, of customers, uh, youngsters uh, in Norway from 16 to 18. Uh, and then you also have uh, elderly people when they when they uh, get so old that they're afraid to lose their driver's license, they can go to the doctor and uh, down register their driver's license to this, which is called AM147, um, because the medical demand for, uh, for driving these cars is a lot less than a normal car because it's only going in 45 kilometers per hour. Hmm. So it's a, it's a good way to keep driving a few years uh, more than um, with just a normal car. So that's the two major uh, customer types we have. Okay, mm -hmm. but man, I need to do at least, okay, I'm not going to do 1000 kilometer challenge, guys, sorry. No. Uh, but at least um, banana box test, that is uh, very nice, and uh, some interview, but also a range test, because you mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, Andreas, that you have 12 point, how many kilowatt hours? 12.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. 12.4, mm -hmm. but uh, there's probably some buffer here also. And there's also some buffer, so uh, maybe you can uh, maybe have 11 plus 11. Uh, kilowatt hour available. That means roughly 55 watt hour per kilometer. Mm -hmm. So if that's, I have not tested it, it's okay. brand new, so we haven't, been, uh, we haven't had the chance to do it ourselves yet. Uh, we will do, we of course, but... Uh, well, you don't have to, because I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, the range is, uh, is uh, estimated at 192 kilometers. Uh, I need to test that. Yeah. I need to test that, bring an EcoFlow and then test it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, this wonderful uh, vehicle here, uh, uh, when can people get them if they want them? Uh, we have started to get deliveries, uh, so we will get uh, cars uh, every week from now uh, and uh, through the summer and fall. So if uh, people order a car now, they will get it in uh, August, September. Oh, okay. Yeah, so a month or two down the line, they will get them. But, but we have quite a few cars in order already, so we have to deliver those first. Uh, so a couple of uh, months from now, we can deliver new cars. So you guys already have orders in Norway? Yes. All over Norway? Or? All over Norway. We have 20 dealers uh, representing uh, Ligier in Norway. From uh, Farsund down south to uh, Kirkenes up north. Kirkenes! Um, <laughs> so on our webpage, mopedbilnorge.no, you can find your closest dealer and uh, contact them and, uh, and get the information you want and, and, and place orders. Um, so it's uh, it's convenient and easy for everybody to uh, to get access to this. And we have dealer uh, dealers with uh, workshops, and we also have agreement with workshops all over the country, so we can uh, service and and, uh, and help you on the on the road with them. And also, uh, <coughs> since this is classified as the moped bill, uh, mm -hmm. uh, bill in Norwegian means car, by the way. Uh, uh, what are the benefits for toll road and parking? And is it, I don't know. Do you know good, all that? Good question. Uh, they are exempt from toll road, so you drive uh, without paying for uh, for for, uh, for toll for bumping it in the uh, in Norwegian. Uh, but parking-wise, it's like a normal car. So you have to pay uh, like when you park a normal car. EV or, or a normal car? EV. This one, obviously, EV. Oh, EV. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so that's a good point. But what about the, the taxi lane? 
you can you can go in a taxi lane with without this. restriction without restriction okay, because have, it's like a normal uh, electric car but because ev you have those time restriction or you have to have a passenger but what yeah, about this one that's the same for this one oh yeah. okay, okay so you have you have to pay attention to the to the sign okay pro tip if you want to avoid that if you want to omit that restriction you have to buy a hydrogen car <laughs> Good point. <laughs> but okay, but uh, this is it is a unique thing in Norway. Do, do you have to have any competitors? Why buy this one versus? At, at the moment, this is, uh, as far as we know, it's the only uh, electric moped car that's actually set up to handle Norwegian climate, uh, our winter conditions, and everything. There are some other makes, but they have some issues uh, during winter time. Uh, so, so this and Ligier has been in business for 60 years. They've been producing moped cars for uh, for 40 years. They also have a line of professional vehicles, uh, electric professional vehicles, that operate for uh, for the for the post in Italy, in uh, Belgium, and in uh, France. So they they have 20,000 electric vehicles on the roads in Europe. So they have a long and extensive experience in uh, electric vehicles. So, so these cars will work fine in uh, Norwegian conditions and Ligier has also tested the prototypes in uh, the French Alps all winter. So this is a car that will handle uh, Norwegian conditions well. Oh yeah, speaking of winter, I forgot to ask you, is this front wheel drive or rear wheel drive? It's front wheel drive. Okay, front wheel drive. Yeah. Ah, and okay. when you get one, you can also uh, get an extra set of tires, so winter tires, mm -hmm. with or without studs. Um, so uh, you can drive it all, all year round, and also in winter conditions. And they handle winter conditions very well. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> if, I mean, eventually when my daughter gets older, uh, if she has the option of driving a, a moped or you know a, a scooter, or this one that can be used all the all year, with also added safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, well, safety by the way. Yeah, yeah. there's there's a, there's an aluminum cage that you're sitting in, and there's a, a aluminum frame in the door to to prevent uh, or to to protect from uh, uh, crashing in the doors. Uh, the rest of the car is basically colored plastic and that's because the classification of this car Whoa. requires it for the car except for batteries to weigh no more than 425 kilos and it's very difficult to make a car weighing that little so a lot of plast and, uh, plastic and, and um, uh, aluminum in the, in the car which means that in, in case there will be, in case of uh, an accident you will be way better protected here versus uh, that's that's the comparison yeah. is to is to uh, to a moped. Yeah. Uh, of course, compared to a normal car, this is not uh, that safe. Of course. Uh, but uh, there you have less accidents when you drive on four wheels, and uh, the consequences are way less than if you if you have an accident on a, on a moped. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I can't wait to test it. Oh, so uh, it's yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah cool. So uh, thank you for introducing me to that. And of course, uh, Andreas, he will lend me this car, and I will do the test. Uh, need uh, a couple of days, maybe up to a week, and uh, to do all the sure. tests. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. And then uh, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. It's going to be exciting with the range test. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe, maybe I'll figure out something else uh, interesting, uh, fun to do with this car. Cool. Yeah. Can't wait. It's going to be quite hot next week. Oh, wow, <laughs> I see. Okay. Perfect. Well, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later. Thank you.